Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Ganzo 806 and uh, very more alike. <laughs> it's only 15 bucks. Let's take a look. So guys, as I mentioned, uh, this is only $15. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, it is on Amazon right now, and I think that's a special price. Uh, they posted some stuff on Instagram saying that the price would go up, but uh, for now, it's $15, bucks, 14 dollars And if you use the link below, it helps the channel, helps me out. I get a little kickback from that, so uh, that'll allow me to do more videos for you guys. And uh, anyways, buy more more new stuff uh so this is the green one go ahead and get it out of the box here uh so you can see uh it looks very more alike I actually brought a mora out here so you could see how how close they resemble each other here uh same basic size uh this is the the mora knife pro s the stainless steel this is also stainless so this one uses uh, 8CR14 MOV blade steel. Ganzo uses that and most of their outdoor knives. Um, you know, it, it's a it's a decent steel. I mean, it's it's more on the budget side, but for the price, it's really hard to beat. Um, you know, my experience with the, that blade steel on my other Ganzo outdoor knives, uh, it, it's it, it holds up real well. It's really easy to sharpen. And, uh, you know, some people will complain that you know, if you baton with it and that, it will chip or break. I haven't had that problem on, on mine, but, uh, you know, that's that's the information I've got anyways. So, uh, you know, both of these come with the plastic sheath. You got the, the drain hole, you know, just like you do on the Mora knife. So if you get some rainwater in there, it'll drain out. The other nice thing is, uh, well, so you do have the little plastic clip to go onto your belt just like you do on the Mora. And uh, the other nice thing is this will work for uh, left or right-handed. So there's the knife, looks pretty nice. But uh, you know, it, it clips in there. You can feel a little little click when you put it in. Uh, you do need, it has a little bit of retention, so you gotta push on it a little bit. But if you flip it around for the lefties, uh, it clicks in there as well. So. That is a nice feature, especially for a lefty like me. Uh, you know, you can put that on either side of your body and it works just as well. So, very cool on that. Uh, just to, to get both of the knives out, um, you know, the, the Mora only goes in one way. So, this is a right hand only, or you can only wear it on the right side of your body. Um, so, there's an advantage to, to Ganzo. But, let's go ahead and pull this back out so you can just see the difference between the knives. Um, you know, the nice thing about the Mora is that it, it has the Scandi grind, which is super duper easy to sharpen. So that just means there's no secondary bevel. So you can literally just uh, put that bevel right on your sharpening stone and follow that all the way and you're good to go. Now this one, uh, it has the secondary bevel. So um, yeah, it's a spear point with the saber grind. Um, you know, pretty standard fare, but you know, that's gonna make it a little more challenging for novice folks to, to sharpen. But, um, you know, it has the, the rubberized grip and that does feel good in the hand. Um, you know, the, the Mora has a little bit of uh, textured rubberized grip on here as well. Um, I'd say I like the feel of the Ganzo a little bit better just because it has it all the way around. You do have a little lanyard hole for those that like lanyards, uh, and it's very light. So um, I think this weighs under four ounces. I think it's three point something ounces. I'll put the, the specs up there. Uh, and then the blade is like, I think 3.8 something, 3.87. So just a shade under four inches. Um, but you, you, you can see how similar. The, the Ganso is a little bit longer than the Mora knife, but um, anyways. So we'll put the Mora away uh, and focus here on the Ganzo. So you do get the 8CR14 on there, and it's the G806, that's the model number, and then you got Ganzo on that side. Um, but yeah, just 
feels really good in the hand. So let's uh, let's cut something with it. Magazine paper out here, and uh, man, it is sharp, guys. Jeez, Louise, that's real sharp. <laughs> nice, nice clean cut. Man, it just glides through that paper. Look, look at that. Just teeny little little shards here that you can cut off here. Little little ribbons. Look at that. I mean, just super sharp. So. No complaints about the initial sharpness. I mean, it, it comes razor freaking sharp from Ganso. So, really nice there. Also brought some cardboard out here so we can see how it cuts on that. And it's, <laughs> that was effortless. Golly, man, effortless. Look at that. Watch this, I mean, ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that slice is real nice. There you go. <laughs> nice clean cuts, man. So, there it is. So I got a little, I'll move this out of the way, got a little stick. Um, we'll just see if it, <laughs> if it has any chopping power at all on something this small. Let's try out here first. Oh yeah, yep, super clean cut. Went right through there. Let's try a little bit bigger right here. So it is cutting in deep, but it's not going all the way through. I mean, this this thing isn't really designed to be a chopper <laughs> anyways, because uh, one, it's very light and it's very balanced. Uh, look at that, just stuck right into the log, but um, yeah, balance point is uh, just a shade behind the blade there. Right there's a the balance point. But uh, anyways, it's real sharp though. It's making short work of this stick, that's for sure. There you go. Yeah, look at there. <laughs> yeah. Sharpen this in too. I mean, it bites in. Yeah, bud. All right, let's see how it does doing a little feathering. So the other thing, I didn't bring my fur rod out here, but it does have a 90 degree spine, so you should be able to throw some sparks with that guy, no problem. And uh, let's let's just uh, <laughs> let's do a little bit of stabbing, just see how that tip holds up. So maybe just a little bit of bend at the very, the very tip, but it's not much. Um, that actually held up pretty well. But um, anyways, there you go. All right, guys. So initial impressions on this thing is uh, I think this is actually really well done, and I think it's worth 15 bucks. Um, you know, you get the the sheath that goes either way. You get a really sharp knife. Um, it's a good size. It is showing a little bit of marks on there from some of the carving I was doing, but I don't think you can see that very well on camera. But um, anyways, other than that, it, it held up real well. Uh, it's very comfortable in the hand. Uh, I didn't get any hot spots when I was doing the, the feathering. Uh, this isn't really something I would use to baton or anything. It's not really designed for that and it's uh it's actually not very big to to baton anything substantial so uh at any rate um you know for small camp tours just some general bushcraft type stuff 
Uh, I think this thing's actually really nice. Um, a really good competitor for the Moras. Um, so, there you go, guys.